turn back, huh? Frisk has probably already escaped the underground by now, along with everyone else. Which means... I'm the only one left. That's fine. I was always alone before, anyway. So this shouldn't matter. Was the underground always this quiet? <laughs> you okay there, buddy? You look like you just rose from the dead or something. <laughs> Sup, bud? How's it going down here? Yeah, and what do you want? Didn't you and your idiot brother follow Frisk to the surface? Yeah, we did. Hey, don't sit so close to me! But Paps ran off somewhere to go talk to the humans. Said something about making a good first impression. I should probably go after him soon before he gets into trouble, but before that, there's, uh, something I need to talk to you about. Talk? You want to go to the surface, right? I bet Toriel and Asgore would be really happy if you came back. They might not talk too much about it, but they really miss you, you know? Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm not going to the surface. I can't. I... I don't want them to see me like this. Not like this. Soulless. Emotionless. So then, would you go if you had a soul? <laughs> well, I don't, okay? And now I never will! My only shot was to absorb the human souls, but I already released them when I destroyed the barrier! Did you just come here to rub salt in my wounds? Sheesh, kid, calm down. It's not what I meant. Now, what I'm saying is... <laughs> If it's a soul you want, then I could help you with that. Huh? Where... did you get that soul? This? You see, before coming back here, I thought I'd stroll around the mountain. You know, just to take a look around the area. And it turns out, there's actually more humans around here than I thought. Some of them even seem to live in the middle of the forest surrounding the mountain. And, well, I just picked it up on my way back. You... what do you mean, picked it up? Did, did you... really? <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't understand. The monsters are all finally free. Everyone is happy now, right? Isn't this what you wanted, too? Then why would you just go out and- This won't last. Huh? This timeline. It won't last. Eventually, they'll just reset it. They always do. Reset? You should know all about it by now. After all, you manipulated a lot of people using that power yourself. I wonder, how many times has it been by now? Forty? Fifty? Maybe one hundred? How many times have I felt the sun in my face only to get dragged back down into this pit? How many times have I thought, maybe this time will be different, only to wake back up in Snowden? How many times have I fought that damn brat in that damn corridor? How many times have I watched them kill everything I care about? <laughs> <laughs> and then laugh as they did it. Should I just run while I can? <laughs> but anyway, that's beside the point. Let's get back to the reason I'm here. You see, I want you to help me find someone. If you do, then I'll give you this soul, and you'll be able to go to the surface. What? Find? Who? Someone I should know? Nah, I doubt it. Right now, I should be the only one who knows him. He, uh, 
kind of disappeared a long time ago. Um, okay. Weird. I've never heard about anyone missing before. So, who is this guy? Hmm. Well, he was the royal scientist before Alphys, and he more or less single-handedly designed and constructed the core. He was also a personal friend of the king and queen, and visited them quite frequently, as I remember. Why have I never heard of this guy? Oh, and, uh, he's also kind of my dad. Sort of. What? Don't just say that so casually! Well, if that's the case, why don't you just go look for him yourself? I don't want to get dragged into your family drama. Oh, come on, bud. Here I am, practically giving away this soul to you, and you're turning it down? I thought you'd be jumping at this opportunity. <sighs> and... Do you know where to look for this guy? Yeah, kinda. I know where he disappeared, at least. That doesn't sound too convincing. Relax. I may not know exactly where to find him, but I do know how. It's really not as hard as you might think. Just trust me and I'll show you. Mm. This is weird. Hmm? What? You! This! Everything about this is just weird! First of all, it sounds to me like you've known how to find him for quite a while now, so then why didn't you go look for him sooner? If he's a part of your family, why wait until now? Also, this seems like something you could do easily on your own if you wanted to. You don't need my help to do it, so why even go through the trouble? Seems pretty pointless to me. No. There's something more, right? A reason. A reason you need him here right now, and a reason you need my help to do it. Tell me what it is. I won't agree to anything until you do. Sure, why not? But first... Huh? How about a change of scenery? Sorry, I just don't want to lose too much time, Saul. So let me make this quick. You're basically right. There is a reason I need that guy here, now of all times. To be honest, I never actually intended to bring him back at all. Right now, I'm out of options. If anyone can put an end to this, it's him. Put an end? Are you talking about resets? Where even is this? I've never been here before. Yeah. That guy studied all sorts of weird things. But what he was most invested in was that phenomenon. He spent years researching it, in fact. Wait. You're saying he knew about it, too? He sure did. Don't know how, though. You know, even as I am now, I know I could never beat him even if I wanted to. He's, uh... Pretty scary person. But that's exactly why I need him here right now. To help me take care of the root of this problem. What do you mean by that? Simply put, I want him to help me take care of the kid. For good. What? That kid is on a whole other level. It doesn't matter how many times I kill them. They just come back a few seconds later. That's why I'm bringing him back. I'm certain he knows of some way to get around that pesky power, but if I just leave on my own, then no one will be here to stop them from resetting again. And that's where you come in. While you're out there looking for my old man, I'll stay here and keep the kid occupied until you get back. Uh, wait a second. Y you want to kill Frisk? No, screw that. I'm not going to help you kill them. Why? Why? You've already killed them so many times before, right? Why should this time be any different? You didn't seem to care then, so why should you now? 
And this time, you wouldn't even be the one to actually do it. All you need to do is bring that guy back here and bam! You get a happy life on the surface with your family. Hats! <laughs> Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. <laughs> Whatever! Just do what you want. I don't care. But I'm not going to help you either. I'm leaving. Stupid. Why did I even start listening to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, why do you even think I brought us here in the first place? This room is completely cut off from the rest of the world. Unless you know a certain shortcut, it's impossible to get in or out. So, you see, you really only have two choices here. Accept the soul and decide to help me, or just die right here. Either way is fine with me. As long as the kid keeps resetting, we can just do this all over again. As many times as it takes. He... he's really gonna do it? But wait! Didn't you just say that you wanted to stop the resets? Then, if you... Oh. I do intend to stop them, but, well, a few more resets ain't gonna matter in the end. I've already been through that hell countless of times. There isn't much I care about anymore. As long as they stop eventually, then that's all that matters. This guy... he's completely lost it! Well, I can't say I really blame him. The only reason I'm still somewhat sane is because I don't have a soul. Most of my feelings are numbed out. But still, there is one feeling. Well? That still burns as strongly as ever. What's it gonna be? I... don't want to die. Fine. I'll help you look for your stupid old geezer. Great, then it's settled. Huh? <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Take it. this form. But how? A single human soul shouldn't be able to do this, right? Or is it really that powerful? No. No, that doesn't matter right now. I'm in this form. Then maybe now I have a chance to... Well now, with that out of the way... But, Sans, what are you? Huh? Huh? What is that? That black stuff. Was that here before? the exact spot he disappeared all those years ago. Sorry, but now that you've taken the soul, I can't afford to waste any more time here. 
The kid's gonna reset soon if I don't hurry. What the hell? It's like some kind of glue. The more I struggle, the more I'm getting pulled in. Not just that, but why? Why can't I use any of my magic? Sons, get me out of here right now! Now relax, you'll be fine. The monster soul isn't strong enough to pass through the other side. But now that you have a human soul, you should be able to make it. It should also be able to bring you back when the time comes, so don't worry about that. Well, guess it's time for me to leave. Good luck, kid. Sons! Sons! going on? Why am I here? Did I return somehow? No. Something feels off. I wonder. Hey, <laughs> if you're awake now, then could you? <laughs> hmm? Oh, sorry. Did I startle you? I didn't mean to. Who? Say, you're a monster, right? Uh, um... Aren't monsters supposed to be scary? I... You don't look so scary. What? Uh, hold on. This feeling... Could this be... Are you... The owner of this soul? Huh? Uh, yeah. I guess. But shouldn't you already know that? I mean, aren't you the guy who took it? Huh? What? No, I, I, I mean, yes. I, I mean, I, I didn't take it exactly. Huh? Really? But you still have it now, right? Y yeah, but... Yeah, how do I explain this? It, it's true, I have it, but... It was sort of... Given to me. I didn't... well... um... Kill me? <laughs> ah, it's okay. I don't really care whether I was killed or not. None of that matters to me anymore. And you don't seem like the type of person that'd be able to do something like that, so I guess it wasn't you. Uh, oh. But, like I said, I don't really care. Importantly, you haven't told me your name yet. I'm Noah. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Asriel. 
Asriel Dreamer. Asriel Dreamer. Huh. Dreamer. Dreamer. Uh, is something wrong? It's just, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's not important. Huh? Anyway, if you're a monster, then that means you're from the underground, right? Uh, yeah. Then, have you seen any other humans in the underground? Well, why do you ask? I have, but... Actually, I'm looking for someone. A girl, around my age. She disappeared on Mount Abbott several years ago. I was wondering if you might have seen her. A girl? Yeah, she's kinda clumsy and a bit of an airhead, and she always wears these big pair of glasses. Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember seeing someone like that before, but... If he's talking about someone that fell down here before I was brought back, then... Oh! Also, she had this notebook that she took with her everywhere she went. I saw her writing in it all the time. There's no way she wouldn't have taken it with her. <gasps> Wait! I feel like... I've seen that before. A pair of glasses and a notebook. Well, have you seen her? I, um... What do I say? If that girl came here before Frisk, then... There... Already... Someone's coming. Hmm? I can hear footsteps from over there. Someone's coming our way. Huh? Really? I didn't hear anything. Ah, you're right! I can see someone over there. But who, though? Everyone should have already left the underground, right? Hmm. Hmm? What are you doing? I'm, uh, not really sure. I'm just... I feel like for now it's best to just wait and see what happens. I'm not even sure if this is the same underground. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come on! We need to hurry! Wait up, Andy! Uh, I can't run as fast as you! Uh, uh. We're almost there, Theo! Come on! Ah! Here it is! Uh, uh, wait! To the ruins. Let's get inside before someone sees us. But, but Andy, that door's been closed for ages, remember? Everyone knows that. Yeah, but this time, you don't need to actually open it to be able to get inside. Come on, Sans! Teleporter's inside! Tired. Just hurry up and teleport us inside already! Someone might see us at this rate! Hey, Andy, calm down! Eh, relax. We're fine. No one ever comes by here anyways. Huh? Really? Well, why didn't you say that earlier? We ran all this way! Didn't think it was important. Andy didn't really ask, so... About that. I can't actually teleport. Sorry. <laughs> but, but before you said. I lied. Lied! Yeah. I mean, it's not like you would have gone through the risk of taking me along otherwise, right? Uh, that's. Uh, still, you can't teleport? Seriously? But I thought all skeletons could. Well, I can't. I've tried, but I simply can't do it. Then again, I guess I am a bit different from an ordinary monster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
Seems like you went through the trouble of seeking me out all in vain. No, that's all right. We'll just figure out some other way to get inside. Come on, Theo. Let's look around. Jeez, <coughs> uh, don't you know when to give up? Of course not. I'll figure something out. Andy? You know, that door won't open no huh? matter what you do. I've tried it before, but it just wouldn't... <laughs> hmm? What are you looking at? Sorry. <laughs> So, this is where you ran off to, huh? Well... I certainly hope it was worth it. <laughs> Andy, your parents are waiting for you back at home. You don't want to worry them any more than you already have, do you? And Theodore, I'll be expecting you in my office tomorrow morning. You better not be late. Now then, if you don't mind, I would like to have a word with my son. You should leave. Now. We're sorry, Mr. Gaster! Yes, sir! <laughs> Sons? I yeah? What's up, Doc? What's up, indeed? I was heading to your room this morning to do a daily checkup on your condition, but when I got there, you were nowhere to be seen. Instead, I found this laying on your table. So, care to explain why you thought it would be a good idea to sneak out on your own without my knowledge? Uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I just wanted to take a stroll around, that's all. In that case, you should have told me and I would have come with you. Yeah, that was kind of the point. I don't need your constant surveillance of me, you know? I'm not stupid. I can take care of myself. Seriously, no matter what I do or where I go, you're always there watching me. Why? I know I'm not that strong, but don't you have anything better to do? Why don't you allow me to go out on my own for once? I'm tired of being stuck in that dark lab and looked at by everyone as if I'm some sort of... lab rat. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Did someone call you that? Sons? <sighs> Fine. At the moment, I won't press the issue any further. It would be a waste of time, anyway. Let's just return to the lab. Thanks to your little adventure, I will have to do additional checkups in addition to your regular ones. If you behave, I'll buy you some nice cream later. All right? Yeah, sure. But I'm not gonna eat it at the lab. You can eat it at the palace. I have an audience with His Highness later this afternoon. So, that's Sansa's dad, huh? He seems a bit scary. But... Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like he saw you. Y yeah Looks like it. Did he know I was here all along? N no, never mind. More importantly, now I'm certain. This isn't the same timeline. Somehow, it looks like I was thrown into a different one when I passed through that black stuff. And Sans is still a child here. So that must mean this is the original timeline, before all the resets. Mm hmm Hey, where are you going? You said before that you were searching for someone, right? Well, me too. I came here searching for someone as well. That guy just now, um, Gaster, I think it was. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think if I talk to him, I 
might be able to figure out some clues. This is a different timeline, so I don't exactly think he's the same person I'm looking for, but... Still, he must know something. Do you even know where you went? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty far away from here, though. Yeah, wait. Isn't it bad if someone sees me in this form? Although I don't think anyone would recognize me specifically. I still look like, well, a dreamer. If anyone realizes that, and they get the Royal Guard involved, and they tell my dad, then things might get really complicated. If this really is the past, then I need to be very careful with what I do from now on. Hey, you never actually told me, but this is the underground, right? Huh? Y yeah Right. Guess I never mentioned that. Hmm. hmm. It's pretty. Hmm? Never mind. Let's just go. Uh, hey, wait a... What was... that? Huh. Well, it's gone now, but... Weird. My chest just suddenly started to hurt. No. Not my chest, but the soul. So weird. Asriel! Such a weird feeling, and yet... What's wrong? Let's go already! Why does this feel so familiar? Yeah, I'm coming. Mount Ebbet, one hour earlier. <sighs> Again. What is up with this timeline? Honestly, now it's snowing? I've never done that before. Not to mention it's the middle of summer. Well, no, nothing. Figures. So, what are you gonna do now? Seems like you can't reset anymore. You could try dying. <laughs> D dying? Yeah, why not give it a try? Who knows, it may rekindle some of your determination to live. Though I admit it's a bit of a last resort, but... Hmm? What's wrong? No, I... um... You know, you've been acting weird ever since the beginning of this timeline. What's the matter? I thought you didn't care about what we were doing. Why do you seem so... scared? Or what? Are you actually starting to feel sorry? Now? Don't mess with me! Do you honestly think that we have any right to feel like that? After everything we did? After everything you did? Yes, I've killed many monsters throughout your resets. I've killed Tori. Asgore, everyone I've ever thought of as my family, my home. I've destroyed everything over and over the same way you have, without so much as flinching. I am, in every sense of the word, a demon. And I know that. However, don't forget, you were the one who pulled the first trigger. I was perfectly content with just quietly moving on to the next life, but you just wouldn't let me. Any idea why? Because you WANTED to see what would happen! Because you thought you were above consequences! And after all that, now you're feeling guilty? <laughs> That's a bad joke! Yeah. Yeah. I know. I... I know that, but... I... I... I just... I... I... <sighs> You know what this is, right? You gave it to me. Right there, at the end. Or what was supposed to be the end, anyway. Funny, isn't it? The amount of damage such a tiny thing can do. The amount of grief and misery that we caused using it. All the destruction we caused. But, you know, ever since the beginning of this timeline, 
since you stopped being able to reset? I've been thinking. Wouldn't it be best if we just died? No. This is our chance to die. Of course, I'm already dead, but maybe I can finally move on. Maybe. If you die, I could finally disappear from this rotten world for good. This never-ending nightmare of mine could finally, finally end. Wait. I, I mean... Wait. No, Chara, I... There's something I... Idiot. Haven't you been listening to anything I told you? Since when were you the one in control? Chara, please, 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 just, just listen to me. To listen? To what? You're pleading? I, I, I didn't, I didn't actually press the reset button the first time. Huh? What? What did you say? <coughs> what do you mean by that? Like I said, I didn't press the button. Don't lie to me! I was there! I saw you press it! I know, but... That wasn't me. Not really. Huh? I felt the same way as you did. I loved the first timeline. I was so happy that I was able to free everyone. I was looking forward to... to living on the surface with them. I didn't have any reason to start over again. And yet... For some reason, the timeline still reset. And I'm still not sure why. What are you talking about? And after that reset, I felt... different. I can't even explain it, but it was like, like I wasn't even there anymore. Like something else had entered my mind and was telling me what to do. Always guiding me along the way. <sighs> you better not be applying that with me. Look, I could only gain full control of your body after you gained a certain amount of LV, and then after you gave me your soul. Up until then, it was all on you. Yeah, I know. Well, I did think it was you at first, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs>